Hello dear student, welcome back for unit 5 lesson 3 for another subject is second conditional. In the previous lecture we talked about first conditional, now we have the second conditional. First of all we have the use. The second conditional is a structure used to talk about impossible or imaginary situation. When we wanted to talk about something, something that's impossible or imagine something, we have to use the second conditional tense. And again, we have when we have those words like have to, has to, had to, and need to in the sentence, we have to remove it before changing to the second conditional. Now we have the form. First of all, we have this form. If plus past simple, after past simple, we have a, we should have comma, and after comma, subject plus with or could or might, and after might or could or would, it should be base, and after base it should be complement. This is the rule. Of second conditional when we want to use if at the beginning when we want to use if in the middle this the, the form would be the will be like that subject at the beginning plus would or could or might and after that we have base plus if plus past simple when we want to use if in the middle we have to use the second rule and when we wanted to uh, change a second conditional to a question we have to use those two rules the first one is what would happen plus if plus past simple and question mark or we can say what would plus subject plus base plus if plus past simple when we want to uh, change a second conditional sentence to question we have to follow one of the uh, these rules in yellow now we have the past simples forms as a, as a summary or as a review for positive we have subject plus uh, verb with ed plus complement or with uh, irregular ones for example come it became came and plus complement for negative subject plus didn't plus base plus complement for ne for verb to be subject plus was or were and complement or subject plus wasn't or were and complement these are the rules of past simple for example she not take my camera she not be able uh, to take photos this is the sentence and ask to us to change to the second conditional sentence. So the sentence became like that. If she didn't take my camera, she wouldn't be able to take photos. This is the second conditional sentence. As you see, we have if at the beginning, she didn't take because it is negative because we have not take and we have to change to negative. Didn't take and take is verb and should be in base form. My camera is complement. After my camera, there should be comma, as you see. She wouldn't be able to take photos. And she, as a subject, wouldn't, which is the word that we have to use, and should be in negative. Why? Because we have not able and won't be able to take photos is the complement. This is about the second conditional sentence. Another example that we have. If I won the lottery, I might buy a big house. If I won the lottery, I might be, buy a big house. This is an um, uh, something that uh, impossible to happen or something that we imagine. If I won the lottery, I might buy a house. As you see, the first one is past simple because we have won, which is the past simple of win, and the lottery is complement. I might buy a big house. We have I, which is subject my which is the word of a uh, con uh, second condition by a big house is the complement i would say hello if i meet the queen of england if i would say hello if i meet i, I, I sorry if i met the queen of england so that the, the sentence is like that if i would say uh, say i would say hello if i met the queen of england so in this sentence we use if in the middle of the sentence so and we have to take this uh, the first the second s sentence which is i would say hello in the to the beginning and the past simple to the end of the sentence so i would say hello if i met the queen of england so this, is, uh, this is something that never will happen or something that's impossible that's why he say or he, she say i would say hello if i met the queen of england if I were you, I wouldn't go out with that man. If I were you, I wouldn't go out with that man. As you see, I underlined where with I. In second condition, uh, we can use where with I. 
okay, because it is something that never happened or something that it is imaginary or impossible things. That is why we can use wear with I and we, sh we can say if I wear you, I wouldn't go out with that man. Another example that we have, what would you do if things went badly? What would you do if things went badly? As you see, this last sentence is question. Question in second conditional. That's why we can say, what would you do if things went badly? Things went badly is past simple. And what would you do is the first sentence with WH question. Now we have summary of the second conditional. The second conditional is a structure used to talk about impossible or imaginary situation. When we wanted to talk, to talk about something that is impossible or imaginary things, we can use the second conditional. First of all, we have the, uh, the rule. If plus past simple uh, with comma plus subject plus would and could, or might plus base plus complement. The second rule is a subject plus would plus could plus might plus base if and past simple. The first one is as for using if at the beginning, and the second rule is for using if in the middle of the sentence. Now we have an, uh, another example to more uh, to be more uh, clarified. If I had enough money, I would go and live in Rome. If I had enough money. I would go and live in Rome. For this sentence, we use the first uh, rule. Also, we can use the second rule for this sentence. And the sentence became, I would go live in Rome if I had enough money. So we can change the places of the sentence with each other and using if at the uh, end or at the middle of the sentence. This is all about uh, second conditional. I hope you understand really very well. Thank you very much for your listening.